Good morning, guys. We're here at, where are we? Uh, Timmy. Timmy. <laughs> I did barn chores this morning and I was so freezing cold. All the water buckets were frozen. Um, well, half frozen anyways. And I have this warm sweater on that has a battery pack that's heated and it helped me this morning. And we are at Tim Hortons in with the next Ruby town over Molly. with Ruby and Molly. Molly there. They want Timbits. Oh, she's looking at the people. Anyways, we're here and we're going to get some coffee. Now, Laura wants a, a pumpkin spice ice cap, yeah. but I don't think they make that at Tim Hortons. I don't Hortons. think they've ever made that. I don't think they do either, so we are going to uh, see if they do and get a dip. And if they don't, we can get a regular ice cap. Yeah. All right, we're in luck because they actually had the stuff to make the pumpkin spice ice cap. Usually it's a um, Thanksgiving thing here in Canada, like in October, but they actually had the stuff to make it. In December. In December. So it's not popular. So they must have other stuff to make too, like all the other ones. Surprised they don't have a candy cane one out yet. I know. Because usually they have that, but. Really? Yeah, candy cane ice cap. They sprinkle candy canes on top instead. Hmm. Candy cane bits. And we got the dogs some Timbits. They love their plain Timbits. We'll give it to them when we get home. Go ahead, good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Uh, got my riding hair on. It's the second coldest day of the year. This girl is going to try and ride. It's not that cold. It's not that cold? It's not that cold. It's not cold. And ride girls are doing homeschool. Gabby, get that phone off. That's why it takes you so long. Do you guys have, are you guys allowed phones in school? Are you I'm allowed? I'm like one paragraph away from being done. Okay, it's been seven hours. I'm no, just joking. But get it done. Uh, Gabby's doing a book report. To, ooh, sorry. Gabby's doing a book report today on Midnight Sun. Gabby, how did you like it? Our viewers want to know. Two and a half stars. Two and a half stars. So, this is the retelling of the Twilight of the Saga. First book. The first book, probably the whole book, isn't no. it? No. Oh, just the first one. Um, through Edward's eyes, right? Through Edward's eyes. Point of view, yeah. Point of view, yeah. And Gabby says it wasn't very good, but she read the whole thing. When I get to a book that's two and a half stars, I start reading it and then toss it. I can't read a whole book through, especially a book that has, how many pages does it 658. have? 658. 658 pages? No, not on your life. No. What's the book that you're doing a book report on today? Oh, I'm doing a book report? Yeah, I told you this morning. I did this. Okay, I want your book report. Um, but I forget what happened in my book. That's why you need to do a book report the day of, the day that you finish it. Go get it and then yeah. we'll read the back of it and you'll get a refresher. No. But did you give that book a how many stars would you give the book you read? Two. It wasn't good? It was only good at the ending, but then it ended, so it's stupid. What book was it? Pax? No. What book? Um The Girl Who Rode the Wind. The Girl Who Rode the Wind by Stacy Gray. That's a ten out of ten. Gabby loved ten. that book. Ten out of five. Sophie is not a book lover the way that Gabby is a book lover, so she has a different way of writing books. And good morning to this sweet girl I posted on Instagram. Whoops, this girl's jealous, but we love her too. We love this girl just as much. But this girl, more. yeah, we love this girl more in some ways. We love this girl more. This girl has a way of sucking into your life. Like, she has us all... Molly has a way. Here, throw my time for me. Yeah, Molly. Look, she has it. Daisy has a way of showing you how much she loves you to get her own way. Doesn't she do that? Like, she's yeah. like, oh, I love you so much. Let me just climb up on the couch and snuggle with you. And then you're like, okay, because snuggling with her is the best feeling, huh? This girl, definitely jealous. This girl is jealous of Daisy. I mean, I can This girl is de jealous of Molly, Macy. She's jealous of Macy. And See, Ruby. I can pick it up too. And Ruby is jealous of none. Ruby is a perfect dog. Come on, Everyone can get that from them. Oh, good girl. <laughs> good girl. She likes to be held like this. Molly. I just want her to look. Molly. No. Years ago. I used to have problems growing the back of my hair. Do you guys see this little bit of hair that's back there? And over here too? I used to have problems growing with it. It would just always be short. And I would never get it cut like that. I would never, like, it would just always be short. And I never understood why it was like that, ever. Like, it just was always short. It's bizarre. 
And then as I got older, something happened and it changed and all the hair grew out and was normal or mostly normal. It grew out really long. And then let me show you. And then recently I dyed my hair using the same brand that I used to use when I was younger. And I woke up and my hair was all chopped. All this in the back and then even at the top, chopped. And I actually liked the style of it. Like I always wanted to have my hair cut in a way that was like had layers on the top and then layers all the way down kind of. And all of a sudden I had all these layers. When I woke up, it was about a couple of months ago this happened. And I think it's from the hair dye that I, I switched my brand of hair dye right around the same time. And now all of a sudden I'm back to these short hairs in the back of my hair, these extra short hairs. I don't know what happened, but, but have you, any of you guys noticed um, hair breakage like that from using a specific hair dye? Back at the barn and it's lunchtime for the, for our girls. And they'd be all waiting for me. I'll see them there all waiting. Ready for lunch? You ready for lunch? I fed them inside because it was super cold this morning but I'm pretty sure the temperature went up because it's nice and sunny out and it's pretty warm. I just got my sweater on. I don't even have my coat. So I'm going to feed them outside for the afternoon. Hi Penny. Come to see me. Hey Penny. Hey. Come here. I have no carrots for you. I have to go get you more carrots. I'll get you some later. Hey Stella. Hey Willow. And Gracie's down there eating hay. Okay, so Sam and I are out doing a quick little shop. I have been really enjoying like, when I was making a blanket for my friend's baby, I was enjoying sitting downstairs and watching movies with Sam at night while I was crocheting. So I wanted to go and get some wool and I got this stuff um, to maybe make a blanket or something. Just like something that'll take me a few months to make and I can sit and watch movies with Sam, which is what he does at night. I usually like read in my bed or something. But anyways, Sam and I are having a fight. Sam, tell them the fight. Sam thinks anything that is cheap is worth it, is the best thing. Go cheap or go home. And I think it doesn't matter how much it costs, if you're not gonna use it, cheap is no good. Like, okay, for an example. Oh no, he buy cucumbers. He buy this English cucumber, long skinny ones. And he'd be like, these are 99 cents! Yay! And I'd be like, yeah, nobody likes them. Like, I do not like those cucumbers. I hate the taste of them. I'm the only one that eats cucumbers in the whole entire family. I only like the big, huge, fat field ones. Yeah, it may be weird, it may be picky, but I do not eat the long, skinny English cucumbers. So Sam's like, yeah, it's like, I'm getting a good deal. They're only 99 cents. I only spent $4 on four cucumbers. And the cucumbers rotted in the fridge because I don't like them. I would rather spend a dollar twenty-nine and get the ones that I like, and then I'm going to eat them. So who got the better deal, Sam, whose four dollars got wasted in the fridge and then thrown in the garbage, or spent a little bit more money and I eat every single bit of the cucumber? That is like one of our big fights. Sam thinks anything is cheap is awesome, and I think getting a good price for the thing that you want is amazing but I don't think that you should waste money spending it needlessly on something just because it's cheap especially if you're not going to use it or nobody likes it but you want a cucumber so I got two cucumbers <laughs> cucumbers I told you not to get cucumbers those cucumbers. cucumbers but they're not that's cucumbers might have been a bad deal because yeah I could suck it up and I could eat the darn cucumbers and that's probably what you're all gonna say that was just a bad example of something that reoccurs in our relationship all the time like yeah married problems but I still love him even though he is cheap sometimes but actually I should say I should preface that by saying that he always buys us what we want and he always goes the extra mile and spends the money that needs to be spent for us to get the horses that we like. So it is almost Christmas time and I realize that a lot of you guys are asking for things and planning your Christmas list. Actually, you've probably already done that. Last night Sam and I took the girls to the bookstore. It's one of my favorite places to go. It takes them forever to choose a book, but I'm glad they're choosing books. Um, and I wanted to share that footage with you guys just so that if anybody out there is looking for a good book to read or looking or is interested in what books the girls are into right now and what they're reading, um, I'm going to show you guys that footage right now and then I'm going to go home and ride my horse. So we'll see you guys then. Let's go. It is cold. Run. Her knee hurts. Her knee hurts. <laughs> 
<laughs> you look like an elephant. <laughs> I can't stand up. Hurry up, it's cold. All right, so we're at the bookstore because Gabby's book is almost about to end. Oh, this is before events of the Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's that's a Game of Thrones. They're they're I even I can't read them. Oh yeah, they're cute. So we're at our bookstore chapters, and they always have like the nicest things here. Like I love a burgundy blanket. Oh, that's so nice. Cookies for Santa. Mom, see, they're to they're definitely stirrup covers. So they're uh, kids pajama sets. They're cute. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. It's adorable. I also love these paper decorations. They're really pretty. $25 for a blanket. That's it. Dogs. Wiener dogs. Oh my gosh. We should get that for Brandon. Oh my gosh. That's super cute. It teaches you how to crochet little animals. Gabby's headed to the teen section. You want a moose, do you? It's a heating pad. Heating pad? I want a heating pad. Could have used a heating pad in the barn today, let me tell you. Alright, so this is the book that Sophie chose, The Tale of the Witchcraft by Chris Golfer. Golfer. Tale of Magic. This is a sequel, Sophie. You have to get the first one. Words in one page? So usually I So you <laughs> usually I buy the girls books for Christmas and this year I didn't and they're getting close to being done the books that they read. They read every single night. And so Sophie's getting these two books, A Tale of Magic. And it's a, a witch thingy. A witch story. And I'm getting the Unicorn Quest. Yeah, and they both Which look... in the second book? No, this is the first book. Yeah, we got all so, the first um, I books. I read the first page and it's, um, she wants to bring unicorns back. Well, I want her to. I want her to, too. Gabby's over in the teen section. Look at teens, and then there's Gabby. Oh, you can't find anything? There's nothing good. All right, so Gabby's looking at this book called A Curse of... What's it called? A Curse So Dark and Lonely. A Curse So Dark and Lonely. It's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And she's getting a House of Dragons. I'm getting a Tale of Magic and a un the Unicorn Quest. Gabby bought... You guys remember that Gabby bought her books in September? And they were two massive books, and she's finished them now. Gabby Sophie's finished her books too. All right, so now we are at Starbucks. Did you I, know you can I, order I any like drink? One. You can order any drink without coffee in it. I want, I want this. this one. It's pure glass. As a straw, I like to drink from straws. I want this one. What is that? That's a coffee cup. Yeah. And you can close this. Yeah. Super cute. What are you getting? Pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin spice latte without the coffee. What are you getting? Peppermint mocha. Peppermint mocha without the coffee because it's nighttime. Right, so I'm going down to ride my horse really quick. I need to ride her because I'm obsessed with seeing if the medicine is working. And Sophie is cooking. What are you cooking? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. This is from the Hello Fresh, right? Our last Hello Fresh recipe. So she's making that when I was out shopping. I bought Sophie some new measuring cups because we're missing one. Which one are we missing? The half a cup? The one cup. And the that. quarter cup. Yeah, these ones are just and the one fourth. These ones just go like that. Super cute. I knew she'd love them. And I bought her new measuring spoon. So I'm going to leave her and she's going to cook. Just make sure you don't put anything near the stove. That's all. No plastic or anything. Otherwise, you're good. Looks really, it smells amazing. Okay, I think this is something. One thing I didn't tell you about the HelloFresh. Tastes like a restaurant meal. All right, I'm headed down to ride my horse. I'm excited. Come with me, you guys, because Sam's gone to the store to get water and the girls are staying at home and I want you guys to come with me. I was feeding the cat and accidentally stepped on him. Stepped on his foot and he ran away before I could check him. Oh no, the barn is full of poo. How am I gonna ride my horse with poo? Frozen poo. But, look at this sweet girl, you look big. You look big, Gracie. I'm afraid to take that blanket off you. Hi, girlies. Oh, you're looking snack sassy. You want to go for a ride, though? All right. I don't know how I'm going to get her in with all the ponies here. This could be dangerous. Okay. Good girl. Very good girl. Yes. Oh, we're going back, back up a little bit more. Yes. Good princess. Okay, so for everybody 
who thinks that I'm not riding her enough. Not that anybody said that to me. But anybody, like, just so that you guys know what's actually happening here. Penny has done more for me since I bought her than just riding her. So basically, I've learned already so much on Penny. For the fact that I just came down here, brought her in, turned her around, closed the door so that the ponies who were hot on her trail did not come in, and then I backed her into the stall. Like, that doesn't seem like much, but I've never been that girl before. Like, I've always been afraid. I've never backed a, a horse into a stall. Ever. But I've been doing it with her and she understands what it means and because she learns so fast I just tell her what I want with my hands even just give her like signs and she knows what I want it makes it easy for me because I know that she doesn't overreact like oh man you guys like the things I'm learning with this horse are I can't even describe to you the things I'm learning with her Riding is the last thing. Riding is the last thing, you guys. It's the last thing. So today we're gonna ride her, and I'm really excited because, so is she, did you hear her? <laughs> she did a big snort. She's like, just shut up and get on with it. So today I'm gonna ride her. Today's the first, okay, so you guys remember Sophie's dream. She dreamed that she was gonna be girthy one time after I started her on the medicine, and then the next time that I rode her, she wasn't gonna be girthy, and I have to tell you, I've been noticing little tiny changes in her and I have to tell you that she has not pinned her ears one single second of this encounter with her with the ponies with me bringing her in with me backing her up like usually she's kind of grouchy not one single ear pin inch <laughs> she's like I'm excited I'm in a hurry so I can't go looking for the tripod and set it up but I really want to I really want to film this she knows what's happening like she knows oh, oh. <laughs> the ears are pinned a little <laughs> it's okay she seems way calmer though all right <laughs> your ears are still like that eh <laughs> Though. Oh, I don't know. I don't know that's the difference. I do. Usually she's more upset. You guys see how she's like pinning her ears? Okay. Normally by the time I have the girth in my hand, she'd be snapping. So girl. Molly. So girl. Get. I'm scaring the horse. Molly okay. get. So no snapping at all yet. And you guys should know that I go really, really slow always when I, Fiona told me like with a girthy horse or a horse that like remembers, <clears throat> you guys, this has never happened before. This has never happened before. All she's doing is pinning her ears. She's never done that before. Pin your ears there, Penny. You're okay? I know. Okay. Huge difference. It might not look like anything to you, but massive. She's so different. Molly. Okay. Yeah. Now I just tighten the girth and she did it. I'm trying to control my emotions because I feel like crying and I don't want to like get her upset before I ride. But oh, she's never been like this before. Like I can't convey what it is that's different about her because you have to know her. But even like looking at her, she has this, I feel her anger dissipating. That's what I feel. I feel like, look at her, look at the look in her face. I just feel her, I feel like that she's less stressed. I feel like, I feel like there's such a huge change, but it's not something that you can know. Look at her, like, can you see it? Can you guys see it? Honestly, oh my gosh. So when I tacked her up, she pinned her ears, her normal thing, but she hardly noticed when I touched the girth, she hardly noticed. Normally she pins her ears the whole entire time. As soon as I touch the girth, before I even bring it under her belly, I lean for it and she does this. 
and she snapped and she did not snap a single time the whole way through I, I tightened her girth and she did not snap like like I don't know maybe I'm just being a baby but I am so impressed God uses people to tell you the things that you need to know and I know that the journey Penny and I are gonna be on after winter is gonna be a big one and I know that she's gonna teach me so much I just know it you guys and I know that God needed her to be fixed and I'm I'm overwhelmed and overjoyed but anyway yeah that's enough of that I'm gonna go and message my chiropractor and tell her that I think this is what Penny needed is this what you needed Penny she's like stop touching my face oh, you guys like <sighs> never thought it would be so hard I grew up without a scar just living my life with no big worry. Girl, he's listening. And I've always known what I want. Just didn't know what came along. Finding myself a much less happy. Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing Not everyone judging me Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down it just gives them right I wanna stay wide open Ooh, 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 ooh Ooh, 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 ooh I wanna stay wide open Can't stand to hear more today I'm gonna lock my door and stay Inside away until I'm safe again I have nothing more to put on I'm defeated and withdrawn Usually when I ride Penny, uh, Sophie rides her first, gets all the fresh out, and then I get on. I can handle the fresh. I love her fast pace, but this winter we are working on her just going slow. That's all we're working on, though, so that is what you saw. A couple of times she was like, I'm going to gallop to the door, and I half halted her and pulled her back. Uh, several times I did that. You didn't get to see all the footage. Um, we just kept going around and around and around until she kind of slowed down. And then when she really started listening to me, that is when I ended the ride. So I rode her for only about 20 minutes. It's late. Look, hashtag mom life. It's a bit late in the day. Not a lot of light left for me to ride her. But I need to have, I need to ride her regularly for both of us. But anyway, yeah, that is it. That is it for today's video. We're going to see you guys tomorrow for riding lessons. Don't you know that you're beautiful?